Hi, it's Dion from The Stitcher's Muse, and I recently had a customer send me this really cute little free pattern for a bookworm on a paper clip. And she was having some trouble with figuring out how to actually get the bookworm onto the paper clip so that it's attached that way. So I thought I would do a video for her, and I thought since I was doing the video anyway, I might as well share it with everybody else. I will put the link to the pattern um, in the comments below. So I started off with just winding a little bit of thread onto my shuttle. And I'll actually move my ball over to the other side. That's a little more comfortable for me. So the first part of the pattern says to do a ring of six double stitches, a long picot, and six double stitches and the long picot is what makes the two antenna on here so you do really want to make it quite long um, it looks a little bit better if the ends are actually knotted as I think I've done with this one sorry the camera is not focusing quite as well as I would like on that sorry about that anyway um, so putting a knot on the end so make sure you leave a picot that's big enough that when you cut it in half you still have room to tie those knots in the end. So we'll start off with doing those six double stitches. And here's where we do that really, really long picot. So I'm going to make mine extra long, so that's quite a distance between there. That way I can always trim off any extra, but it's really hard to add any on if you've made it too short. Six double stitches. And close the ring. <laughs> I'm going to pause this while I untangle that pico. There we go, all untangled. So the next instructions are to reverse the work, which is just basically flipping it over and doing a chain of five double stitches. shorten up my shuttle thread there of course when you're videoing your fingers get all tangled up right So there's your chain of five double stitches and turn by doing a half double stitch unflipped. So instead of flipping like we normally do, we are just going to do that half stitch unflipped. I made a small error there. I didn't read my instructions properly. The, uh, before you do that half um, double stitch unflipped, you actually attach it to the paper clip. And this is where my customer was having some problems. Basically what I did is I just simply hooked the paper clip over top of my shuttle thread, very close to the chain. And then to set the join by doing the first half and doing it unflipped. 
So instead of flipping the stitch like you normally would, you set it that way. So that your shuttle thread here is making the curl around. And that helps to set it onto the paper clip. And now we are going to do another chain of five double stitches that are normally flipped, just like you would normally do. And what we are going to do next is to make that hump so that you get that nice curve at the top there. And the way to do that is to do, sorry about that, I may not have shown you the camera. This hump right here at the top of the curl, the way that you do that is by doing a second half unflipped which I've already done, so I'm going to undo that so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do your second half of a stitch, but instead of flipping your knot, you're just going to tighten that right up on the ball thread. And now you're going to do another chain of six double stitches. And you see how that makes a nice little hump in there? So that's what you're trying to accomplish by doing that unflipped stitch near the top. So now we're going to attach to the paper clip again just by simply taking that shuttle thread and pulling it through the paper clip. And we're going to do a chain of five stitches for the tail. So you want to make sure that you're leaving enough room there so that it sits nicely on the paper clip. Hopefully it sits nicely on that paper clip. There we go. There's your little inchworm. So now the way to finish this off is to do a second half unflipped again. So it's a second half, but we're not going to flip it. And the purpose of this is so that it ties an actual complete knot in the end there. And then in a second, I will show you how to finish off the tail and how to cut the antenna. So here we are. I have grabbed my scissors. All you do at this point is you just trim quite close to that last knot. If you're uncomfortable at all, you can put some fray check or something on that. But I have found uh, this one's been around for a while and it seems to hold just fine. Then you just Pull that out, cut that in half, and at this point you can tie knots in the end of those. Um, I'm not going to fiddle around here while you're watching this. I will tie the knots and then show you how they look in a moment. So there is the little finished inchworm. And I thought I might show you 
Um, how I ended up tying those knots, give you a little bit of a hint or a tip on that. Um, I can't show you because I've obviously already tied those, but what I did is I basically turned the thread end around like that. And then I took a needle and just kind of, you could also use a crochet hook and just kind of grabbed that thread and then moved my finger up until I got it exactly where I wanted it and then just basically tightened it up. So there you go. That's how to make these absolutely adorable little inchworm bookmarks. You just, um, I just realized I have them different ways. So to move this guy around, you just slide him along. And then you just clip him onto your books like that. Happy chatting. Thanks for watching.